the old house is uh, 1903, and there were too many dormers on it to put the um, to put the solar panels. So we put them um, in the garden, and it always seemed to me a waste of space if I wasn't doing something with it. The only way, really, that I could think of was to put silver tape down between the um, solar panels on the array and then put a gutter on the bottom. So then the, the water comes off the panels around and into the tank. It serves this zone of the garden, which is the roses, for two or three months, and that's by hand. So I just do gravity feed with a hose from these tanks. We use quite a bit of straw at this point for mulching the garden beds, and that of course disintegrates into um, the beds or into compost. And the other thing that one of the community gardeners came up with a couple years ago is getting free burlap bags from Equator Coffee. And we use those for weed abatement and mulching a lot. And they disintegrate also so that um, they can either stay in the beds and we can plant over them like lasagna mulching or we can put some of it into our compost bins. The, the garden's organic, so we don't use any um, inorganic chemicals to control weeds or pests. So I've added a bat box and an owl box. Uh, the owl box came from hungryowl.org, which promotes the non-use of chemicals in the soil because that way the owls take care of the rodents instead of um, having to put baits out. And then the bat box um, is to attract bats who will eat the smaller insects and mosquitoes.